Hey, how's it going? Give you a quick update on the pulse motor I was building. I was trying out a L-shaped core, and so far I haven't been able to get this to run. But after I figured something out yesterday, I might go with a more traditional way of getting it running and using the bifiler coil as a generator. So I'm going to get back to this then. What I figured out yesterday has to do with coils and the uh, resistance. Here's a transformer cord. It's from one like that bigger transformer in the back. When we wind one of these coils, there's a certain amount of resistance wound in because of the wire. Now these ones are all single wire coils. But when you use this in an AC transformer, you have impedance that kicks in, which is like resistance. There's been a lot of talk about superconductors and a lot of costly ways of going about to reduce the resistance to be able to improve efficiency. What if we could reduce the resistance in these without going through all that costly way of doing it? The other thing is the uh, turn ratio. Up until now we've been using a turn ratio to be able to raise and lower voltage. We're not going to have to do that anymore. What I figured out is Tesla's bifiler patent. He talks about capacitance with the bifiler coil. In order to use this capacitance, you need to add a capacitor in the center. And you can, with tuning the capacitance, you can remove the impedance. And it looks like it's possible to remove some of the resistance of the wire. Here, run down to what I have going on here. I'm using the, the large transformer here to supply, so I'm not going through dealing with house mains at the moment. There's about 11 volts that comes out of there. And I'm running it through this 10 amp AC meter. And I got a voltage reading here, what's going to supply to it. Now I'm using the transformer, it's a Radio Shack transformer. It goes from 120 volts to 13 and a half volts to put out. Now I'm using this in reverse, so I'm feeding the secondary, which is my low side, and I'm going to be lighting this 120 volt light off the high side. And I got a bridge rectifier and a cap on there to smooth things out. Now this meter here is the volts and this one is the amps. Now what I do with this transformer on the secondary. Center tap transformers are usually a bifiler wound. I took it apart and I separated the bifiler and soldered two wires on there to bring them out to the exterior so I can add a capacitor in there. If you take one of these apart, make sure you mark your your inner winding so you know which which is inner and outer. So now I have a capacitor. Uh, I'm using well, there's two 470 microfarad capacitors. I'm starting out with one right now, and we'll take a look at it with two on there. At the moment, I have a jumper going here to bypass them, so we're not using the capacitors. We'll take a look and see what happens here. Now, 
capacitors without the capacitance. Those two are connected together just as if that was all one wire, like the center tap was still together. And you can see we got 11.1 volts going in and about one and a half amps going through there. And here we got 116 volts and 100 milliamps. Now watch what happens to this primary now. When I kick in the capacitance, I'm taking off this jumper wire where we have 470 microfarads right now. You got four and a half amps, 10.9 volts, 162 volts, oh, let's climb, 163, 164, 130 milliamps. Now this windings that are in here, in this original secondary, really need to be a finer wire now. And the one thing I want you to notice on here is the turn ratio. That transformer is 120 volts. That's supposed to go to 100. And, well, it goes to 113 and a half that it puts out. So it's about a nine to one transformer. Now watch what happens when I kick in this other capacitor here. We're at what four and a half amps. So now we have two 470 microfarad capacitors. Now them capacitors heat up because that wire needs to be rewound on that primary. But watch what happens to the current. That's with without the caps. That's with the caps. That's how many amps we have going through there now. Without the caps. With the caps. Notice the voltage ratio. And pop the reset on the transformer. The impedance as well as some of the ohms of the wire disappear. This is something that's been known since 1894. Tesla figured this out. I'm going to be rewinding this transformer and put a bifiler coil on here. I think I'm going to leave the original primary and take this secondary off and put a finer wire on there and use that as the primary. I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Thanks for watching.